Hello guys, this video is to show you my super cool program that I made made uh, with C++ and SFML it is a charged particle simulator so basically you're gonna have a bunch of particles and you can change their mass and you can give them a charge and they will uh, apply forces on each other, it's pretty cool so I'm gonna show you so this is a, these are some positively charged particles as you can see and they will repel each other and you can place a bunch of them like that and I can pause their movement with the space and if I wanted to make it so that they weren't moving anymore I could press shift space which sets all their velocities to zero and uh, you can press C to clear it all this ball right here is an example of uh, basically what the ball you'll be placing will look like or will properties of it so I can turn up the radius with the mouse wheel and that just means that it has a bigger mass so it's gonna be harder to accelerate so uh, they have a smaller effect on each other now that they have a larger mass but I can also turn up the charge using the uh, arrow keys if I press up it'll make it more red or more positively charged and that will have a greater influence on uh, put a greater force on the other particles I can make it smaller and th this one will be whipped around like crazy or not really okay wait actually yeah it moves around faster because it has a smaller mass and you can see it sort of bouncing around and stuff you can also uh, totally invert the charge if I press I it'll just invert the charge and you can also uh, change the size of that and make it this is a negatively charged particle the blue ones and you can make it even more negative or even more positive as you can see in the example ball in the top corner uh, if I make a really big one I could do that and this is a negatively charged particle so as you can see it'll attract the positively charged particles like that pretty insane pretty cool stuff as you can see that top particle the one that's the example doesn't actually have any effect on any of the other balls it's just to show you what you're going to be placing that looks pretty cool it's kicking it around um, there are also f there's also gravity I can turn on gravity which is kinda cool and with G and you can turn off the gravity which is what I just did there and you can also make fixed particles so if I scroll down like that and I make the charge stronger by making it bluer I'm gonna do this so oh wait those aren't fixed okay if I press F I can make the particles fixed and so they don't do anything and if I turn off the fixed and I go like that as you can see some of, some of them move and some of them don't move if I press shift C it'll clear all the non-fixed particles like that shift C um, here's something else cool that you can do you can simply pause it place a bunch of particles and then watch them go and like I said you can just press shift pause which basically sets all their velocities back to zero if for whatever reason you want to do that press clear to clear all the balls um, you can create something like a planet so if I turn up the charge I'm gonna make this really oh, oops really blue as you can see oh see it actually anyway and this is a p fixed particle so if I fling around the particle like that oh wait and I invert the charge and I fling a particle around it should uh, get attracted to the blue ball although its mass is too big so it's not getting affected enough so I can make it smaller like that and I go like that whoa yeah planets and stuff that is kind of like how planets move except less extreme and much slower and that's very exaggerated ellipse 
It's moving in an ellipse, sort of. Whoop. I hope it gets whipped out. I need to delete it and add a little bit more mass, I mean, uh, velocity to it. So it's actually pretty cool because you can ch uh, set the velocity at the beginning by just dragging like that. You know what I think of these particles? I think their charge is too high, so I'm going to, oops, turn down the charge so it's a little bit more neutral. Uh, and then also turn down their size like that. And oh, that's too much. There. Well, it's a little bit more like a planet, but not really. Oh well. So yeah, my program here can do a lot of things. Programmed all the physics myself. It's not. It was it took a long time, but it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't super deep or hard. But debugging, obviously. There still are some problems, but you know, it's actually quite good. I think it has to sum up the the forces. One particle has to sum up the forces that all the other particles uh, act on it, and it's doing that really fast. I'm gonna add an FPS counter later so that you can actually see, you know, the FPS. Wow, look at that. I wonder if it's ever gonna escape. Oh, it escaped. Another one knocked out. Knocked it out. Uh, that's not supposed to happen. Oh well, see ya.